Hey, what's up, everybody, man? So we're right back with another prediction video. We in week four, and the goal is the same as every single week. We trying to get every single pick right. But before we get started, I want to do a brief recap, an extremely brief recap on the previous week. So week one, we went 11 and five. Week two, we went 12 and four. And this week, we went 12 and four once again. You feel me? And here's some of the matchups that, you know, end up not going our way. Houston and Jacksonville. I thought Jacksonville was done being on that weird shit. I thought Jacksonville turned the corner, you know? They had no business losing to Houston. CJ Stroud lit their ass up. Tank Dell had like 150 receiving yards. It was it was sad. It, it was sad to see for Jacksonville, man. Um, Baltimore had no business losing to the Colts. They don't even have a starting quarterback. Garden Mitchell was a good quarterback, though, but Baltimore should have won that game. Um, Dallas completely just dropped the ball. Like, I have nothing to say about that. You should not be losing to Josh Dobbs. Like, it's pretty much that simple. And then we got Pittsburgh end up knocking off the Raiders. So, it was a lot of weird stuff going on. You feel me? But we're right back. Like I said, we're in a new week. And it's time to try to get every single pick right. And we starting with Thursday Night Football. We got Detroit versus Green Bay. So, we four weeks in now. So, I can really say more about every matchup. But when it comes to Detroit and Green Bay, I like both teams. You know, Detroit, um, you know, they did just lose um, that safety Gardner Johnson to end season in the injury. Um, David Montgomery's banged up, but they got Jameer Gibbs. And Jameer Gibbs, they on the verge of unleashing him. And I think it's going to pay off good for them. You know, um, even without Gardner Johnson, they should still be able to compete at a good enough level and win this game. Um, I did see the same team lose to Seattle. Which is why I don't want to full out go in with them. But Green Bay, look at Green Bay. Green Bay, they've been showing up. You know, Green Bay, they've been showing up. Jordan Love, I love what I've seen from him all season so far. Last week, they were able to come back from 17-0 and win. That's a crazy comeback. Like, the Saints was beating them the whole game. And they just come back and win. That was weird, you know. But, yeah, Green Bay, they know slouches, you know. This is supposed to be the year that Detroit is supposed to take over. They're supposed to take over the division. Part of me want to pick Green Bay, but I'm going to rock out with Detroit. I think Detroit, I think they're going to take this one personal, and I think they're going to really try to go out there and win. Next, we got Atlanta versus Jacksonville. Atlanta finally showed that they still shitty last week. They didn't put up no points against Detroit. Uh, I know their defense has been a little decent for real, for real, but you know they didn't, they didn't put up no points last week. Jacksonville. Even though they, they played shitty last week, I think they bounced back. I think Trevor Lawrence could bounce back. I think ETN could have a good game. Uh, Calvin really had a stinger, you know. The past two weeks, he hasn't really been that good. But this week, I think this is Jacksonville's chance to get another win. I'm going to pick Jacksonville to beat Atlanta. Next, we got Miami versus Buffalo. Miami just hung up 70 points on Denver. And let's just talk about that quick second, you feel me? Denver should be ashamed of themselves. The NFL don't even get down like that. NFL ain't trying to hang up 70 points on teams. They trying to go out there and win. That's it. So if you did allow a team to put up 70 points on you, I'm talking, I think it was like seven rushing touchdowns. So I mean, Miami was really trying to run a clock on this shit, but they wouldn't let them. They wouldn't let them. They put college numbers on Denver. They put up college numbers, bro. Buffalo ain't ready for that. Miami might be the best team in the league. And I'm putting all bias aside for my Browns. Miami may be the best team in the league. And if not, they're definitely the best offensive team in the league. But they, they put in work to become this good, you know? I don't see Buffalo stopping them. I don't see Buffalo competing with them with points. I know this is a division rival game, but I got to rock with Miami. Miami, they coming off a 70-point dub. Like, come on, I can't. No, nah, man. Next, we got Denver versus Chicago. Two sorry, pathetic-ass teams this year. Like, I just told y'all about Denver. 70 points hung up on their head. Russell Wilson playing like shit, you know. Um, they just not getting it done. They not. They just not getting it done. It's that simple. You know, Denver is a team that was hyped up crazily last year. Um, they got a new coach this year. They thought things were still going to change. Nothing's changed. Denver is actually probably a little bit worse than they were last year. Denver, they're, they're, not, they're not a good team. They're not a good team. And they're probably not going to be a good team this year. It's plain and simple. Um, Chicago, on the other hand, you know, I've seen Chicago try to compete this year, you know. But it's just that Justin Fields I ain't rocking with, man. Justin Fields, I keep telling y'all every week, I think, he ain't none. But Marcus Mariota, that's it. He a black Marcus Mariota. That's it. So, 
This is a toss up. Honestly, believe it or not, it can go either way. Um, damn, man, most and all, they ran for seven rushing touchdowns. That mean Justin Fields may have a day. Just saying, you know. Um, I'm gonna rock out with the underdog. I'm gonna pick Chicago. Chicago just can't keep losing, bro. I'm just being real. They can't. They just can't keep losing, you know. Next, we got Cleveland versus Baltimore. My Browns. We got the best defense in the league. We can go down easily as one of the best defenses that ever existed. We keep playing at the rate we've been playing. I think we finally got what it takes to stop Lamar. Lamar's always been a problem when it comes to the Baltimore Ravens. I mean, he's always been able to run on us. He his, his scrambling ability and stuff just been killing us. But we got everything intact to where we can stop him, you know. Um, their secondary is banged up. You know, the receivers are there, man. But we are going to beat Baltimore. I think we could beat them. I think we're going to shut them down. And I'm picking my Browns, man. I want y'all to pick them, too. Next, we got Cincinnati versus Tennessee. Both of these teams are not that good this year. Tennessee, I just seen them get shut down. My Browns, their carry ain't do none. Um, receivers ain't do none. But we just seen Cincinnati go on a shootout yesterday. Not even a shootout, but a bang out with the Rams. <clears throat> Excuse me, the Rams, you know? Um, I don't see Cincinnati losing another game. I don't see them losing to Tennessee if that's who it got to be. So I'm going to pick Cincinnati. I feel like I pick them every week, man. But yeah, I'm picking Cincinnati. Next, we got the Rams versus the Colts. <coughs> I understand Gardner Mitch, you went out there and balled last week. I understand Pittman was balling. And it was balling. They won last week, you know? The Rams have found ways to compete, though. The Rams ain't no scrubs for real, bro. They weren't able to score any points yesterday. But they're not scrubs, you know? The Rams can definitely compete. We've seen them compete with the Niners. Um, we've seen them... Be um they beat somebody week one. They the Rams can they can play, you know. Um with that being said, it's a toss up here as well. Um Anthony Richardson, I think, comes back this week. I like his scrambling ability. I think he's a decent passer. <sighs> Man. I'm gonna pick the Colts. Next, we got Tampa versus the um the Saints. The Saints, they finally went out there and lost. Even though the first two games were not the best games, Kamara should be coming back this week. Um, I don't know the injury report on Derek Carr. I haven't done my research on that. Um, but, you know, they definitely are the better team. You know, Tampa, that Baker Mayfield been playing cool. But Baker Mayfield ain't ready for a Saints defense. I'm just being real. The Saints defense folded last week, but they're not ready for a Saints defense. And Marshawn Lattimore owns Mike Evans. With that being said, that's enough for me to pick New Orleans, bro. There we go right there. Next, we got Philly versus the Commanders. The Commanders, they went out there and got stumped. They got stumped. You feel me? Philly, though. Philly was down there just struggling. What's happened? You know? Philly also ain't the same team as they used to be. With this being a division rival and with Philly due to take an L for the sloppy play they've been doing, I got to rock with the Commanders, bro. The Commanders, they they trying to get to it this year, even though they, they got their ass kicked last week. Next, we got Minnesota versus Carolina. Minnesota, the better team. They got Justin Jefferson. Can't nobody stop Justin Jefferson. The Vikings really can only stop themselves, you know? Carolina, I don't know if Bryce Young coming back this week. Um, but they not, they not beating Minnesota, man. I think Minnesota really go in there and win. We got Pittsburgh versus Houston. I like what C.J. Stroud was doing last week, man. I like what he was doing. Can he keep it up? I don't know. Pittsburgh, on the other hand, they got a dub. Another dub, actually. You feel me? But Pittsburgh still ain't that good. But the Raiders, the fact that they beat the Raiders, I don't know. I think they could beat Houston, man. So, I'm going I'm to pick I'm gonna pick Houston. I'm going to pick Houston because I think C.J. Stroud can get another dub, man. Next, we got Vegas versus Chargers. This is a disgusting game to bet on because the Chargers, they always find a way to sell. You look at the Raiders. The Raiders is not that good. Josh Jacobs ain't going this year. Jimmy G at quarterback. It's just not going to be a lot of consistency there for the Raiders. I think the Chargers should win this game. Next, we got New England versus Dallas. 
I know Dallas has dropped a stinker against Arizona, but they will not be stinking it up against New England. There's no way they should. Their defense is too good. I think they'll give Mac Jones some problems. I think they'll be able to score some points. I got to rock out with Dallas, man. Next, we got San Francisco versus Arizona. I understand Arizona just won a game against Dallas, but Dallas is not San Francisco. Arizona had no business winning that game, and they're not going to win this game. Next, we got Kansas City versus the Jets. I'm going to just keep it 100. As long as Zach Wilson's suiting up, I will never pick the Jets to win the game. Plain and simple. And last but not least, we got Seattle versus the Giants. The Giants, I don't know about them dudes, man. They really suck. You know, Daniel Jones suck. Saquon Barkley may still be out. Daniel Jones had 40-something fucking yards, bro. Why should I pick the Giants to win? When Pete Carroll got Seattle consistently winning games and being competitive every year. I got to pick Seattle, man. These are my picks. Hopefully we could go. What is this like? 16 and 0? Yeah, 16 and 0. That's the goal to go 16 and 0, man. So let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'm going to put these picks in on FanDuel. I'm going to slap like 50 cents on there or a dollar. And just know if all these picks hit, I got some money coming my way. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Like, comment, subscribe. And I got more content coming soon.